Oh, hello, this is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Today I want to show you how you can import uh, existing members uh, to your new MemberPress website. So this is a developmental site that I've been working on. So we got um, uh, four different types of membership. And uh, so anyway, just the different tiers, uh, different price. So uh, if you click that, so this is not really simple uh, re registration form. As you can see, uh, in addition to first name, last name, and emails, and I got the lots of questions to ask phone numbers and, and language preference. And if you look at the, all the left hand side here, uh, go to member press and the settings, and then you can add field, right? So you can uh, add as many fields as you want. So this is the field um, that I created, and I got to input all the data. Uh, to this new member press site. So, so let's do that. So, okay, so I'm gonna bring up this um, numbers, or you can use Excel, uh, I use Mac numbers. So you kind of create um, kind of spreadsheet here. So this is a template, and then I got uh, organization name, username, and email, roles, and again, so I'll explain that to you. Uh, so as you can see, let's probably divide this window uh, half like that, and I'm gonna just uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay, so you see, um, I got the organization name, and then uh, top here. So these are custom fields, and I got the organization name, and then you make sure you copy this uh, slug here and then put that on, on the on the top column here, okay? Or well, top row. And the username and email and roles, and that's a member role. And here, MEPR again, organi organization description, and I got it here as well. And you can see that here. You just copy that and paste onto that. And that the rest is kind of same. I got the different type of field here. And then you see, make sure that you can just copy and paste uh, those slugs, okay? So that's kind of first thing. And I've already um, put the text here. So organization name is, uh, I use kind of fake book. And there's, now I use uh, email address as a username. In this case, this is that my client just preferred. And, but usually, you know, uh, lots of people use username and the email kind of separately. Uh, but in my case, uh, they are the same. Now, just to be careful, you have to change the settings. So, uh, still same, uh, member press and this under settings and account tab here. And here you see a member must use their email address for their username. So you must, you have to check that box on, okay? If you want to use this option. Um, just quickly here, now I got those three columns here like Y, Z, A, 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 B columns. Now these are not actually member press uh, data. So this is kind of different. So I don't want to be confuse you, but I just want to kind of explain. Uh, you maybe wonder why I have this. So if you go to this, I use Croc Block Jet Engine and then I got the meta uh, field. Uh, just hang on here. Sorry here, that's the meta box here. So I got the user meta box, I got the uh, organization category in addition to member press information. So for example, a number of volunteers recruited monthly. So I'm using that um, jet engine meta for that. And here, um, yeah, I think you have to copy this I name ID and paste onto this column here. And this number is coming from, I use uh, uh, glossaries and here. So this is, I think, drop down menu. And then this number here, uh, the field value, you can just copy and paste if they are like between 11, 20 people uh, they recruited. And I'll, I also have uh, the text field uh, for the Facebook and the Twitter and LinkedIn uh, link uh, URL. So again, I just put in test. 
that uh, usually they're gonna put their own uh, social media URL here they can put all right so I think this is ready now we have to export this spreadsheet yeah export to a CSV file okay and make sure that you have to select this Unicode uh, UTF-8 uh, nothing else so this is the default and make sure you choose that and then hit next uh, so I'm gonna just uh, maybe change the name to um, member uh, user uh, import something like that so I'm gonna just save that on the desktop here all right now next step let's go back to member press here member press and add-ons and uh, so you need importer uh, so you have to install and activate so I, as you can see I already did that then you'll see uh, import on the bottom here and let's click this is where you uh, you have to upload uh, the, the CSV file now here though uh, select the type of file to import now the, in, uh, the the template I just filled in the CSV file is for users so click that and then okay so next one is here um, so send the new members a password reset link um, does not email uh, does not email existing members yes so make sure we have to put that on so okay so that's it so users and then uh, check on to send the new members uh, a password reset link and then choose file and I think this is the one I just created this is a CSV file all right so it looks okay let's open that and then hit up upload see if it's gonna work all right so let's see to row user was created successfully okay no errors yeah that's one row okay looks good so let's check it out uh, go to users let's go to use all users think here you go so um, this one username sorry uh, here you go so this is the one and then let's let's look at uh, detail here okay so all mem member role and then the email is good now what about other okay so fake book so that's the that's the one designer phone number uh, English okay looks like it's all imported now let's go down here so I got the other so meta field I think I have uh, so here we go so that the number of volunteer recruited so that successfully um, imported to test test and a LinkedIn test so that works okay good this is not done yet now I added this fake book whatever that is uh, the new one as just the in the user database but it's not really a member because um, they haven't done any transaction yet so as you can see the transaction is not really completed so uh, they're not really uh, for the membership yet so let's um, uh, let's take another step here so now so we're gonna uh, we're gonna import the transaction CSV format here so there is a, a document uh, dot memberpress.com so you can find that too uh, so there are some required columns uh, the username so again like I'm using username as uh, email I'm using email uh, as a username so I got the same username here 
and then the uh, organization name in my case and then product ID now product ID is uh, I think go to membership here I got the different types of membership here and I think uh, for this one is Uh, let me just check here. Oh, I don't remember which membership. This is the user one. Yeah, for this client, it depends on how big is the organization. I think based on number of employees, no, based on annual budget. So over 1 million, so that is, uh, over 1 million budget is, oh, this one. Uh, okay, so $600. And then, so here is the ID here. So this is a uh, 1375. So you put the 1375, so product ID, and the amount is 600. You have to make sure that you have to follow this uh, format. Uh, it, you can you cannot just use 600. You have to use 600.00. All right, and the total is the same. Now the send welcome message. Uh, so if you put the one here, uh, so it's automatically send a welcome message after uh, the information get imported. Uh, but for this one, it's the existing website. So existing members already paid from the previous uh, website uh, platform. So it's kind of confusing. So I'm gonna put the zero here so that the welcome message is not gonna go uh, send out. And the status is complete. Uh, you can do cancel. Let's see. Uh, yeah, status. Yeah, status here. Uh, whether you can do pending, complete, refunded, uh, default to uh, complete. So, uh, so that means if you probably leave it blank, it's gonna be complete. But I'm gonna just complete. Uh, type it in, and then create it at. I think if you uh, make it blank, it's going to be uh, put the today's today's date. But I think I'm gonna just put the. What's today? I think uh, zero two uh, nine. Again, you have to have this format has hyphen in between, and then uh, this is only annual membership. So every membership expire on on the March thirty first. So I'm gonna just leave that. Okay. So I think this is it. So okay, let's go to um, export once again. CSV file, uh, Unicode, FT, uh, so UF, UTF uh, 8. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the next. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah, transaction. Yeah, I'm gonna put the uh, number press. Action. Okay, I'm gonna just put the, save it on desktop. Okay. Now let's go to uh, import and then uh, here to select the type of file to import. I think they have a transaction here. All right, so and then choose file and then this is a transaction and then hit open and then let's see. Okay, so looks like, uh, yeah, ID number is created, it's the same ID number. All right, so let's check it out go to uh, members all right i think this is the one okay let's kind of stretch out here so the top one now it says status active uh transaction completed and i'm sure they now they can access the member here they can use email and then I think I, they have to reset the password, okay? This is how you do it. Um, now, uh, one thing I didn't have to do, but most of you probably have to do is, uh, you have to import the subscription, which is uh, here, subscription uh, CSV file. Uh, this is more like you are doing like monthly recurring uh, subscription. Uh, you have to go through that. Again, in my case, uh, this is like annual membership. Uh, it's not really automated. Um, uh, they don't want 
auto renewal. So my client just wants just annual membership that the member has to purchase membership every year. So just let the membership expire at, on March 31st. So, so in my case, I had to do only uh, importing user data and then transaction data. But once again, most of you might have to do a subscription. Um, and I apologize that I'm not going to go in through uh, the process, but there's nice video here and member press has good document. So I don't think it's, uh, you're going to have a different, you know, difficult time. All right. Uh, the lastly, let, let's check the email. So once again, uh, I didn't get any welcome email because I set it as zero, which is uh, I forced not to send out. However, so this is the um, new password reset. So it's a you can create a new password for this on volunteer Ottawa app, blah, 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 uh, by clicking the following link. All right. Okay. So, um, I think that's it. So I hope this helps and uh, I'll see you next time.